Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is a beautiful day in Nebraska. The sun is shining. There's a few clouds in the sky. Corn is coming up and fields are getting sprayed, which means the next logical step is to get pivots going. He has already sprayed the pivot that way. So now we're going to start the pivot moving this way and you can spray everything over here and under the pivot. We're gonna start it dry. It just moves, like just move it out of the way so they can spray underneath the pivot. Exactly, at the end of the field, you can see the little mobile spray station that's set up. There's a semi truck and a flatbed trailer. And then the flatbed trailer has all of the equipment needed for the spray. So it's got a big water tank, all of the pre-emergent chemicals. And if you come and look out at the field, our corn should just be starting to come up. And as soon as this field is done being sprayed, we are going to start running the pit with water. <gasps> Oh, I see little baby corn plants. Check this little guy out. Just starting to poke his head. Aren't they so cute? What are the odds it starts, Grant? Give this a 10 out of 10. Oh, a 10 out of 10? Even if it doesn't start, we brought the Handy Ranger with some supplies in case we need to fix it. DK Repair was out here working on this thing. Oh! always gets her going. Alright, I'm ready. Ooh! Might have been a little mouse now. to tell but trust me it's moving What you're seeing him spray is about 90% water, and then there's some fertilizer in there and just a few chemicals to suppress any weed pressure that might harm our corn's chances for survival and thriving. We want our corn to have the best chance to grow as quickly and as strongly and as efficiently as possible. dirty paws in my face. So it's been a little while since we told you guys what's been going on with the yard. We've been kind of busy planting and so I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's been going on around here. Scotty, why is he scratching all of a sudden? Scotty's been uh, minimizing the gopher population around here. He's been ferocious lately. Now the gophers don't have any more grass to eat since we tilled it all up. They have been scrounging around. And so Scotty's been lying in wait, been able to pick off a lot of gophers, which has been incredibly helpful actually. So as you can see, luckily we don't have any weeds growing up. 
and that's a very good thing because we don't have our sprinklers installed yet, but that's soon to come. Um, but I have gone through and picked out all sorts of concrete chunks, bricks, cans, bottles. I think there used to be some kind of old farmstead here. And so when we went through and tilled everything up and then tilled everything up again and then tilled it up again and then tilled it up again and again and then smoothed it and then tilled it again, these big chunks here, they just keep working their way up to the surface. So there was definitely been, an old farmstead here at one it's point. It's been a big work in progress to try to get rid of these. But we have had everything leveled and graded out. And then as you can see from these markings, we're going to widen this drive. Because as you remember, the whole point of starting this project in the first place was to make this yard more maneuverable for our farm equipment. So we want to be able to pull a combine here through here to be able to pull a fully loaded semi. We have a circle drive. I want to be able to make the most use out of it. So this is um, like a really old original well and today we're going to be having this pulled. We are going to be finishing seeding. Um, we're doing some nice like lawn grass. We're doing a lot of natural native prairie grasses um, which is gonna be really fun. I don't want to have to mow a lot of it so I want to be able to keep a lot of natural prairie but what I do have to mow, luckily we have a very nice mower to do that with. I want to show you that to you. Ta-da! Now, I realize that it's in the corner of a shed and it's by a boat pallet of old pivot parts. So it doesn't look like it's much. But wait till you see this thing in action. Before we get started, we have a little checklist to follow. We can check the engine oil grease zerks and transmission for proper lubrication and uh, just give it a little once over make sure everything looks okay ready to find the dip stick oh uh, i think that's just is this just where you add oil no hey This is my second year in a row running a Toro Z Master 2000. And once this lawn project is complete, I'm excited to put many more hours on this thing. We got some uh, different looking tractor colors on the farm today. Grant, you're matching that one. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite color? I suppose. So we got a Kubota. And this is what we're going to be actually seeding the lawn with. Open it up back here see what we got yeah, that's not corn seed there's some uh, native prairie grasses and brome grasses we're gonna be putting out there and then with this super cute little lawn tractor a little bit different than the big tire tractor I'm used to running we're gonna be putting some dried fertilizer on and I think if I ask nice enough to let me do it myself handle 170 horsepower this is pretty different looking i don't know i think i can figure it out there's a lot of buttons in here it's got a sunroof look at that her battery uh kill switch yeah it's on the dash the uh, right side look at all these buttons green underneath the cold i got it Things are firing up. Oh, 
All right, think you can run this Jaboda? I think so. I've never run one of these before. Have you ever ran an orange tractor before? I have not. So you're just pushing the clutch, okay? And then on this little lever here, up. Now I'm in gear. Now I'm going to press my three point down and I'm gonna shift up, give a little throttle. And we're playing grass seed. We're playing grass seed. Just like that. <laughs> Look at that. Easy as that. Where's the auto steer button? I don't think this thing has that. <laughs> I don't think it has that. We're gonna have our grass in perfect straight lines. Yeah. Boy, we're doing full circle here. We've, we're mowing grass and planting grass in the same video. In the same video. Hopefully someday soon. I guess I won't be mowing this grass, but hopefully someday soon I'll be mowing that grass right there around the house. Yeah. That hasn't been seeded yet. All right, now rate this Kubota cab. What do you think? You know, I find it to be pretty similar to the JLG cab. That's kind of what it feels like. Those telehandlers we have. Oh, yeah. It does feel like that. That's kind of what it feels like. But that could just because you shift with, you know, this thing over here, the uh, little paddle thing. Or you put it into gear over here. I guess you shift over here. Um, and maybe it's just because it's orange. I don't know, the color. You're making, you're making pretty straight lines back there. I'm trying to. It is kind of nice. Like, once you set this thing down, it's just a drill. So, you don't have to press any fancy buttons to start that. Yeah, it's all chain drive. Yeah, it's nice. Maybe I'll hop out and uh, go check that out. Bert, see if I do okay. I didn't want to steal all the seat time. Oh, why is it? Oh. Your parking brake isn't off. Dang it. Grant. Just don't get off. Oh man, it's still off. Oh. It's got to be all the way down. <laughs> we are good. Hey, uh, don't forget to put it down. You're not doing anything right oh, now. I'm turning. Just checking, just checking. Now we really need a rain. What do you think of a capitalist tractor? So too. You want to do that real quick? Uh oh.
There you go. You guys have watched so much lawn progress happen. Um, this is something that Grant and I were really, really excited to do ever since purchasing our house. We rented this for a long time and couldn't do anything with the property. And so being able to not only upkeep it, but improve it and then maintain it and show you guys the journey along the way. Just found some wire out here is really a privilege and I know that. None of this would be possible without you guys. So just know that I really appreciate it and I'm glad that you guys are along for the ride whether I am planting 80 acres of corn or I'm planting a yard of grass seed. So thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.